bars. What's up YouTube, how's it going? All right, so I'm back with another video for you guys. So I just wanna say first and foremost, uh, happy New Year's to you guys. Um, today is New Year's Eve, but I'm actually going to be dropping this video tomorrow. So when you see this, it'll be the first. So I just wanna wish you guys a happy New Year's. Uh, hope you guys had fun. Uh, the homie Nando, big shout again to you, bro. Hit me up and he, <laughs> I feel like he's like my creative, you know, director when this, He's, yeah, he's, he's the creative director for uh, Troop and I 101. But uh, he hit me up and he was like, man, I'm top five. And I was like, yo, top five of what? And he was like, I have no idea to pick up. So, you know what? Let's do it. So starting at number five is going to be this uh, suede bomber jacket right here. This one is from Aeropostale. Um, so I saw this jacket. So I've been looking for like a suede bomber jacket for a while. Um, and I never found one. And when I did found one, it was like... Super expensive. So I found a um, a suede biker jacket from Express, but that was like $150. And I was like, there's no way I'm paying that. Uh, so I came across this one. I really like the color on this. It's super nice, super simple. Nothing really crazy about it. Um, I like it because it's, it almost kind of gives like a kind of like a formalish kind of vibe to it because it is suede. Uh, so you could kind of dress this up in a way. Um, so I really like this one. I caught this one on a sale. Paid $16 for this jacket, which is crazy. I think the normal retail was um, somewhere around $60. Uh, so I like waited long enough to cop it. Um, so yeah, $16 this is a great pickup. All right, next up on the list, sticking with that kind of like uh, tannish theme, we'll see this theme uh, being recurring. Maybe that's a thing for me this past year are these um, desert boots right here, these tan desert boots from Clarks. I really like these ones. I've been wearing these a crap ton. I really like these. I think these have pretty much taken the place of my tan ASOS Chelsea's. I don't really wear those too much anymore. Um, basically, I'll stick to, uh, you know, brown or black. Uh, so these ones have really just been like a staple for me. Uh, pretty much these look good with anything, literally anything. Um, and I'll just, you know, wear these when I don't really care. So my number three pickup for the year is going to be these black uh, Chelsea boots right here. These are the ASOS ones. Uh, normally, I'm not a big fan of leather, but I just cop these because these gave more of like a dressy feel to them. Um, and I don't know. I just liked it because usually when it rains, suede gets messed up. So I figured, hey, why not cop like, uh, you know, a, a leather one just so that it would probably be a little bit more durable when it rains. And I have a habit of picking up like Chelsea boots around my birthday, which is around January. So I always just end up like copying a pair of Chelsea's just as like a birthday gift for me. Uh, I don't know. It's just like a thing that I do for myself. I, I don't know. I guess I don't really get gifts from my, like from other people. So I just give stuff to myself. I don't know. <laughs> At least that's how I justify it. But yeah, I got these for my birthday this year. All right, number two on my list are gonna be these boots right here. So these boots are uh, Tommy Hilfiger boots. So I got these, actually, these are my most recent pickup. I got these maybe a week or a couple weeks ago, I would say. I got these at Burlington Co. Factory. I uh, just happened to see these as I was waiting in line and I thought these were super dope. These just like feature this like tannish brown uh, suede upper. Um, and then what the coolest part about it is that it does have the side zip and it does have the uh, like the black, um, you know, kind of like um, sole. So I really like these because these are really durable. Some boots that I get don't really have too much traction on them. Uh, but my favorite part about it is that A, when looking at it, you would never know that these are actually Tommy Hilfiger unless you looked at the very bottom. Uh, so these are like super low profile. But um, my favorite part is that these are actually my first um, ones with the zip on them and these are just super dope. These are so comfy. I literally probably laced them up once and never have to lace them up ever again because I just slipped my foot in. Um, <laughs> I used to think that zips on boots or shoes in general was kind of like a, a useless feature. I thought it was more for like the aesthetics of it. But after having these, like these have definitely changed my the way I look at boots and now I'm like, man, if this had a zipper and everything, you know how much easier life would be? Like, you just, you know, like, slip it in, zip it up, and you're good to go. Um, so I really like these. I pretty much try to wear these as much as I can. 
All right, so my number one pickup of this year is uh, a pickup that we've already seen. Um, and it's definitely something that has started a huge trend for me this year that will most likely carry on to next year. And it is this uh, Sherpa jacket right here. So this is the, the first Sherpa jacket that I got from H&M. Uh, this one is a brown corduroy. But the reason why this is my number one pickup is because this has really just started a whole new obsession with me. So uh, this was the first Sherpa jacket, then I ended up getting um, like a blue denim, and then I now have the black denim. And I actually also got a leather Sherpa jacket. I never thought I would ever get a leather Sherpa jacket. So like, this is crazy. This is, that's how you know that this has started like, an obsession with me where I'm just like getting, you know, like having me step out of my comfort zone. So that Sherpa jacket has just changed my whole like view on outerwear. Like I just love Sherpa jackets. They're super warm, super stylish. Um, and you know me, I'm, I've never been a big fan of like thick, you know, winter jackets. So this is perfect where it gives the aesthetic of like, a, you know, a more simple tone jacket, but the fact that it does have the Sherpa material on the inside just keeps it you super warm, so it's really practical too. So this is definitely a trend that I definitely foresee myself um, keeping with up until the new year. So yeah, that being said, guys, that is my top five pickups. I hope you guys liked it. I'm sorry if it wasn't really like super crazy in terms of like heat or anything like that, but you know, this is me. That's what I've been picking up. Um, and you know, that's just, you know, if you don't like it, that's cool. You know, things change. Um, but anyways, with that being said, guys, uh, once again, I want you to wish you guys a happy new year's and, uh, yeah, let's see what else 2019 brings with us. So with that being said, guys, thank you again so much for watching. Take care. Peace.